CEO Coinbase announced listing of XRP on the 19th of June. XRP to $80,000. Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse exuded confidence in winning a lawsuit against the Securities and Exchange Commission (SEC). Speaking at the Paris Blockchain Week event, Garlinghouse told attendees that their protection turned out to be extremely better than he expected. Welcome to the Finance Up channel. If you liked this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Do you think the analysts are right about XRP? Write the answers in the comments. Giving away 500 XRP at the end of the week. One random subscriber will receive XRP coins. Take a look at the instructions in the comments section. All you need to do is write the word XRP, watch the video to the end, to like and subscribe. He also added that a victory in the XRP lawsuit would be a good precedent for cryptocurrencies and exchanges that have suffered from several unfavorable rules introduced by the SEC. The case filed 15 months ago alleges that Ripple, its CEO, Garlinghouse, and the company's executive chairman, Chris Larson, engaged in illegal activities by placing unregistered securities worth $1.3 billion. The Securities and Exchange Commission applies the Howey test obtained on the basis of the Supreme Court decision. The case sought to distinguish between an investment contract and what qualifies as an investment security. According to the SEC, the XRP coins were sold without registration with the regulator. However, Garlinghouse, as well as the company, argued in their defense that XRP works as a virtual currency, like Ethereum and Bitcoin which are not registered and are not recognized as securities. Their defense team added that XRP should have been treated as a virtual currency, not as an investment contract. In the above objection, Garlinghouse also stated that if they lose the case, a bad precedent will be set for the crypto world. This case is important not only for Ripple, it is important for the entire crypto industry in the United States. This would be negative for cryptocurrencies in the United States. Quote, essentially, this model will mean that exchanges offering XRP will be forced to register with the SEC as security brokers. This will oblige everyone who owns XRP tokens to register and be personally known to the SEC. Earlier last week, Ripple won on an important issue raised during the proceedings. A motion by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission (SEC) to review the deliberative process privilege (DPP) was rejected by a federal judge. The court's decision is considered a huge victory for Ripple in a long-standing fight with the regulator. These series of victories left the company inspired and confident of success in the main suit. A Ripple victory would be welcome news for cryptocurrencies that have faced walls of uncertainty. Ripple Labs, a San Francisco-based fintech company, continues its offensive attacks on the SEC amid an ongoing lawsuit. However, perhaps it's time for his supporters to sharply slow down this victorious mood. Ripple, through defendant Brad Garlinghouse, filed a response to the sex objections to the motion to compel the production of Estabrook notes. According to a February 28 statement, the defendant demanded disclosure of records of a 2018 meeting between former SEC Commissioner Alad Roisman and Ripple CEO. This is mainly to prove that Ripple executives have made efforts to comply with U.S. securities laws. Alas, the SEC referred to the privilege. Well, that's the last thing that made headlines today. On April 20, Judge Net Byrne rejected Garlinghouse's motion to compel the production of Estabrook's recordings. The court stated that, Estabrook's notes are no different from the notes that the court previously recognized as protected by privilege. Quote, Attorney James Phelan shed light on the event by tweeting. Hashtag XRP community hashtag SEC gov v. Hashtag ripple hashtag XRP breaking. Judge Net Byrne denies Garlinghouse's motion to compel production of the Estabrook notes. The court states that, Estabrook's notes are no different from the notes the court previously found to be protected by the privilege. Quote, the application notes, collecting SEC facts from third parties is not inherently a privileged activity. But after studying Estabrook's notes, I found that they could have revealed to Garlinghouse the internal thought processes of the Securities and Exchange Commission during his meeting with Commissioner Roisman. The privilege applies. Quote, the statement claims that neither Estabrook nor Commissioner Roisman are involved in the sex investigation into Ripple. Various members of the XRP community have asked clarifying questions to get an idea of this situation. One entity asked the following So the recordings from the meeting that Brad actually took part in are privileged? I'm not a lawyer, 
but what's the point, for God's sake? Soon enough, another lawyer tried to sort out this situation. Jeremy Hogan, a partner at Hogan & Hogan, stated. Why fight this uphill battle? 1. Because Ripple wasn't 100% sure what was in those notes and so it was a chance worth taking. 2. These are the notes that the SEC found after the fact and it makes the SEC look sloppy, bad and you always want to highlight that to the judge. Colon closing parenthesis. In any case, Hogan expected the defendant to come back to normal. Then he added, the idea of irrefutable evidence is very strong in the law. This is evidence that the court must believe. So unless the SEC provides evidence to the contrary, whatever Garlinghouse says about this conversation is what took place. No questions were asked. Quote. Did Altcoin feel this, or was it preparing to slow down its trajectory instead? Well, it looks like the latter. XRP lost about 2% in just 24 hours, trading at around $0.76. In fact, it recorded a quarterly trading volume that was three times lower than the volume recorded in the first quarter of 2021. The trading volume of XRP in the first quarter of 2022 amounted to approximately $203.94 billion. This is a 68% drop in trading volume compared to the figures for the same period in 2021. In the first quarter of 2021, the trading volume of XRP amounted to about $640. 70 billion. Ripple tried to refute the report of Dr. Albert Metz, an expert at the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission (SEC). Metz and several other parties have concluded that Ripple is capable of manipulating XRP prices, according to the SEC. Tuesday's decision can be called a minor victory for the SEC in this case. The court also gave the SEC more time to object to the publication of some internal documents related to the speech of former director William Hinman. Crypto lawyer James K. Phelan drew attention to this decision. On Tuesday, Judge Sarah Nett Burns' ruling reopened the door for an expert opinion until May 13 to rehouse drive. Metz. The court order allows the defendants to file any additional reports in response to the Metz report. However, the judge also ordered the SEC to pay reasonable expenses incurred by the defendants in connection with the filing of the petition. The order states that both parties must meet and agree on a reasonable payment. The current price of XRP for today you can see yourself on the screens, and the trading volume for 24 hours is $1,294,436,065 US dollars. We are updating our XRP price in US dollars in real time. XRP has dropped 4.08% in the last 24 hours. Do you think XRP will be able to win the court and restore its former price? Write the answers in the comments. That's it for today. Thank you for watching this video to the end. If you liked it, then don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel.